Hi there, so um, this is just a quick video to show uh, a few games I've been playing the last couple of days. And uh, there's a lot of great shmups in the current Steam sale, which is ending in two or three days on the 21st of March. And uh, as soon as I saw them come up in my emails, I I had to buy a couple of them, and that's inspired me to get my um, get my Steam PC up and running again, which I use a criminally low amount compared to how much trouble I spent making it so yeah I very much enjoyed getting back into Steam games again in the last couple of days. I'll show you three games today these are all at ridiculously low prices at this moment between one and two dollars um, so let's go to Android Dunos 2 first. Now I have actually done a video about this um, on the Dreamcast version and uh, there was a few, I had a few niggles about the Dreamcast version um, and seeing as it was made uh, by a Japanese dev primarily for Windows first of all I do think it works better on Windows so I actually wouldn't recommend the Dreamcast version over the Steam version which is what I'm playing here so if you um, if anyone is wondering which is the best version to get then uh, I would highly recommend jumping into Steam now while the sales on and getting this one for a couple of dollars it's a really good game let's just do a couple of minutes of this one I will say I'm getting a bit of screen tearing on the Steam version of this, as you may or may not be able to tell in the video capture there. I probably will be able to do something about that. I don't think it's got a V-Sync option. I'll check uh, after I've finished this bit of gameplay, but I don't think there's a V-Sync option in the settings for this. I might be wrong there, so let's check in a couple of minutes. But before I do that, this is a game and it's just a really good, nice, chunky pixel look modern shmup based on Andro Dunos, which was a uh, Neo Geo shmup from 1990 or thereabouts. This is just done by an indie dev. It's, uh, but they did get it properly licensed by Visco, the original publishers of Andro Dunos for the Neo Geo. And uh, yeah, it's just a really good, solid, old-school shmup. You can cycle between different weapon types with your LNRs. There's those little blue orbs you can see. They count as tokens towards upgrading your ship at the end of each stage. So if you collect uh, a lot of those, you get more points. And then you can uh, upgrade all of your cyclable weapons by small increments, depending on how many of these orbs you collect and you can choose which ones uh, to upgrade so this gun I'm using at the moment this is one of the most probably the gun you'll be using most in the game the most uh, powerful forward firing rapid fire and powerful forward firing weapon so this is the one of the ones that you upgrade over any of the others the music is really good nice 16-bit style sound effects that could be on the uh, Genesis. Excuse my dog there. And she's just barking at uh, someone's looked at the door. And you see we've got now this forward facing bullet absorbing shield I've collected now in the front of my spaceship. You can actually upgrade that as well using the uh, upgrade tokens. Make them stronger and you've got this kind of bomb move which recharges and that's different for each gun this is another powerful forward firing laser but it doesn't fire very quickly so I'd usually go for the rapid fire Vulcan style Here's a kind of spread shot and as you can see the uh, bomb move for the spread shot is different so each individual weapon has its own power 
shot. And that's stage one of Android Dunos. So, uh, as I was saying, I do think this is superior to the Dreamcast version. It just feels a lot more responsive. There is a little bit of detectable input lag. I, I haven't measured it, but um, I can definitely tell that this feels a little bit more responsive than the Dreamcast version. But that would make sense because it was initially made for Windows, so any port to a console, especially an old console like the Dreamcast, the likelihood is you're going to get some discrepancies, you know. But anyway, this is the... I've got two to two uh, bars here that I can add to any of my weapons or shields or what have you. And so I can add two more tokens to my main Vulcan shot there and that will be more powerful for the next stage. But yeah, so Android Dunos 2. I do highly recommend that one on sale at the moment. Let's go to one of the other games I've been playing recently. I just got this one this morning, Super XYX. Now this is developed by NG Dev Team, I believe, who are well known for making a lot of modern games for the Neo Geo. Mostly shmups. I think they're German. But this is a game I saw recommended by Shmup Junkie recently. And this is just a really great vertical, old school vertical shooter. Mainly in the style of Toe Plan, I'd say. It's got a little bit of bullet hell caviness about it, but I'd, it's more in the camp of old school Toe Plan, I would say. Maybe Batsugan. When Batsugan was uh, basically a prototype cave game, wasn't it? The last, um, the last Toe Plan game ever before. Some of the guys split off to make cave. So it's kind of in that limbo between real bullet hells and uh, the end of Toe Plan. And that's perfect for me, really. I prefer the older school style to cave games myself. And this is uh, just at a right, just at a good spot. As you can see, it's a pretty hard game. Now you can turn off V-Sync, you do get a nice selection of options on this one. You can turn off V-Sync, you can change um, scale. I've got hitbox showing at the moment, which is that little circle in the front of my aeroplane, but you can turn off stuff like that, which is all good. And turn it on, of course. So that is Super XYX. And that is another really nice game for uh, Steam that is on sale at the moment for about two dollars. Let's go to one more game. So this one is one dollar at the moment for the next couple of days and so is Ginga Force which is the the one that came out before it now this is by Cute which um, is a Japanese dev that made a game called Eskatos which was originally for the Xbox 360 and is pretty well known there's a good chance you've heard of that one this one came out a approximately five years ago originally for the Xbox One but a couple of years after that it was added to Steam. And this is a really nice kind of more modern shmup with lots of quality of life improvements. It's uh, as a lot of reviews have been saying mainly reviews by the likes of Shmup Junkie. Um, it's a modern shmup Definitely honouring old school style shmups like Gradius and R Type, but with a lot of new innovations which kind of bring it up to the modern day. You've got two modes of play with Natsuki Chronicles. 
So basically, I've been, this is the story mode I've been playing for a couple of days. So I've got weapons I've upgraded. You collect credits by uh, by um, achieving certain goals during stages in the story mode, and then you can spend the credits on developing and deploying new power-ups. So you see there, I've got some greyed out ones which I haven't reached the status of being able to develop yet, but I will do as I play the game more. And you've got a primary weapon, a secondary weapon, which is generally like a bomb or a backward firing shot or something like that. And you've got, uh, they're both fireable on independent fire buttons, which is nice, and you can fire them both at the same time. Then the special weapon tends to be more defensive type things. You can see on the little demo screen there, defensive weapons are like bits in our type. They all hover near your ship and then you can use them to absorb enemy fire and use them as a shield. And then they have uh, limited capabilities to do things like that and then they have to recharge so you can't just leave them on all the time. But uh, this is just a really professional, solid, well-made shmup with brilliant graphics. And if you're familiar with Cute and Ginga Force and Eskatos, Judgment Silver Sword, then you'll know that they're a very trustworthy company. You're not going to go wrong. You're not going to go wrong with any games made by them. Let's just hope they make some more games in the future. And the fact that this is now a dollar on Steam at the moment doesn't mean they're going out of business or something. So as you can see, I've got my forward firing weapon there which is wave shots I've selected at the moment which actually goes through scenery which is great and I can press my other firing button to fire backwards which is nice and if you press them both at the same time you get a kind of compromise where you can fire backwards and forwards but as you can probably see they're both slightly weaker than their individual format So this is another game that's kind of right up my alley. Kind of reminds me of Dreamcast shmups. That nice kind of precise 3D looking graphical style. You get these quality of life things like uh, indicators showing you where enemies are going to enter the screen. And there is an option to turn on bullet paths as well. Which shows the path that the enemy bullets are going to take in a kind of uh, semi translucent red line. I, I have that turned off because I find that's just too much visual in, uh, information for me. It just puts me off the gameplay. But it's very good for beginners who aren't used to uh, having a, a lot of experience of recognising bullet paths and dodging them in advance, stuff like that, which is a... Uh, I think it's the kind of skill that you build up more and more as you play more games like this. But they have definitely tried to make this game beginner friendly but also has a lot of replayability for uh, really good players as well and higher difficulty settings and stuff like that and the other great idea in this game is if you look on the bottom left of the screen there's a three bar shield meter there now every time you get hit you don't die as you probably noticed except when you've got no shield left like at that point where I did die so you get this shield basically that goes down a bit every time you get hit and uh, if you can avoid getting hit again for a while it will build back up this is all stuff that I've earned just by playing for that small amount of time there 
So I've just earned uh, uh, 1,700 credits towards weapon upgrades. And you do get like slightly RPG style leveling up as well as you can see. So let's go to the options. You get a good selection of settings. This is the arcade mode where you just jump straight into the stages without having the story sections in between. So this would be something more for people that just want to do one CC in a single play. I'll turn on bullet trajectory display for arcade mode. Show all display trajectories. So this time around you'll notice all the lines showing where enemy bullets are going to go. So this is stage one of the game. So you can see there, in arcade mode, you get power-up icons. Like a standard arcade shmup. And your weapons will upgrade immediately and change as you click those icons. As you'd expect in any kind of normal arcade shooting up. And you can see the red lines are indicating the bullet path. So at the moment they're quite helpful I suppose. You can move out of the way of them but in later stages when the screen gets really hectic and full of bullets there's so many red lines around that I just find it a bit off-putting. But uh, this is primarily designed for beginners really this option and it, it will help in the early stages of the game. So this is Natsuki Chronicles, and as I said, uh, Ginga Force is also on sale for a dollar by the same company, which is a vertical shmup in the same set in the same world and with some of the same characters, story characters as Natsuki Chronicles. That's another really good one. So I would highly recommend that game and I would also recommend Natsuki Chronicles. And uh, hopefully that's been interesting. I'll put links to these games in the um, comments of the video. And uh, you've got two or three days to get them for one or two dollars. Okay, thank you very much.